Aside from the certs that we always talk about, what are the things that are gonna help you get promoted in IT? In this video, I'm gonna discuss the 13 top things that I think will get you promoted in IT. My name's Jake, I'm a sysadmin and an MSP, and MSP stands for a managed service provider. We provide IT services to other companies. Let's get into it. So the first thing that's really gonna help you level up is to learn to read logs and follow data. If you can dig into DHCP, syslog, event viewer, or firewall logs and actually find the problem, you're already ahead of 90% of other T1s. I didn't realize this at at the time, but when you're a tier one and you reach out to someone who's at a higher level than you, they probably just ask you a bunch of questions, like 10 different questions. Sometimes it feels like you're getting trapped, like they're trying to catch you in something. But really what they're doing is just gathering data about the problem, gathering it, acting on it. If there's insufficient data, they ask you to get more. I try to teach this to tier ones and to tier twos who come up and I get to train. Always follow the data. If there's insufficient, it says nothing about you. It just says that you need more. And the thing that I can do as a more experienced tier two tech is enable them by giving them them access to data that they didn't have. Once you have all of the facts in front of you, most problems are super simple. It's just a matter of getting it. Number two, fix the root problem, not just the symptoms. Don't just stop at rebooted and it worked. Find the reason why things were going wrong in the beginning. Back to following data. Read some logs and prove what happened and what went wrong and why it's not going to happen again. For example, something we see so common is a firewall acting goofy. I don't know, VPN tunnel or some connections and a tech just reboots the firewall and it solves the problem temporarily. This causes some problems because one, Firewalls don't keep the logs when you reboot them. Those logs go away forever. And two, you didn't solve the underlying problem. This is gonna come back in a couple weeks and someone else is gonna have a P1 for an entire bank branch that's out. So instead of solving the issue, you kicked the can down the road. It's imperative that you actually find the solution to the issue. I understand sometimes this is a business decision. You just need to get people up and running. But as much as you can, try and solve those root problems as opposed to putting band-aids on things. Number three thing you can do is take the ugly tickets as much as you can. This should probably be number one because this is absolutely crucial. Time and time again, I see techs only do stuff stuff that they're comfortable with. In order to actually level up, you have to do the stuff that you're uncomfortable with. If you already know something, you probably don't need to be doing it anymore. A good strat that a system engineer told me when I first started in IT is just always take the ticket at the end of the board. Doesn't matter what it is. If you do this, you're gonna learn a lot of new stuff. You're gonna learn processes. You're gonna learn who to go to. You're gonna learn how to gather data and you're gonna learn to understand unknown problems. Follow this strat, bridge that gap between order and chaos and I promise you will be successful. The fourth thing you can do is ask tier twos and tier threes what they're working on. Ask to help them. You're going to learn way faster than if you watch some silly little video watching an actual system engineer do something important. And then they're going to see that you actually have initiative and that you want to learn. This is big. Honestly, I love when tier ones ask me to watch me do something. I love teaching them. I also then know that I can count on them to do the thing that I just taught them. And I can use them as a resource when I need help. And I speak good of them to my managers. So hopefully they get promoted because if they have that much initiative, they probably should be on tier two. The thing is people want to see motivated people succeed. And the truth about this world is most people are not as motivated as they should be. Be that person. Ask to help. Ask to watch. Ask to shadow. Offer to help. The fifth thing you can do is learn after hours. Labbing, tools, configurations, things that you might do on the job. You've got Packet Tracer. You've got Cloud Labs on GitHub. you got Try Hack Me, Hack the Box. You've got scripting. Every hour you spend outside of the job just makes you more dangerous on the job. Take a short lunch. Study. Watch some tech YouTube channels. Level up for that next cert. Immerse yourself in tech and fall in love with the game. You're going to find that there's an insane amount of cool stuff stuff with tech that you didn't know about that you didn't even know you could do. And the world is really cool. I understand you're not going to spend every waking minute with tech. You might have a family or a kid to spend some time with. Definitely do that as well. But what I'm saying is when you get the opportunity, immerse yourself outside of the job in tech stuff. Number six, write documentation that does not suck. This one's self-evident, but also cannot be understated. Making good, clean documentation is going to level you up and it's going to level your team up and it's going to make everyone appreciate you. Number seven, follow up with your users and communicate clearly. Another underrated thing in IT is communication. Even a basic fix can feel premium if you communicate yourself really well. Users are going to start asking for you by name, and this makes you look really good within your company. And then also being a proactive communicator puts you in control of your destiny. Nobody can ever say that you didn't do something if you did it ahead of time and documented it. Email every client every day if the solution merits it, of course. Number eight, be super reliable. Honestly, just show up to work on time every day and work harder than everyone else. This sounds difficult, but you would be surprised how lazy most people are in this industry, especially after they get like four months of experience. You can absolutely make waves in the industry just working your normal work hours. You don't have to go crazy or anything like that. Just work while you're at work. You will stand out ahead of 90% of other people. Number nine, I want you to think like an owner, not just a ticket closer. If a process is dumb, it is on you to fix it. Don't just click resolved, raise a flag with the system engineer or whoever's on that account to make this process better. A good example is a printer who gets its IP through DHCP and is mounted just fine on this lady's computer and it's working for everybody. You could easily leave that ticket be, but the next time, 
that bank has a nice power outage, that printer might get a different IP. Then there's going to be another ticket that pops because this person's printer is not working. And some tech has to spend an hour finding the IP on the printer, working with this person, remounting it, and maybe doing it right like we should have done the first time. Set that baby static outside of the DHCP range, document it for the future, put it on a print server, and then mount it to everybody who needs it computer. You just solved a bunch of future problems just by thinking ahead. Number 10, absolutely crucial. Automate that boring stuff that you're doing. Showing initiative with automation absolutely makes you look next level. Anything you're doing twice a day, script it and share the script with other people. Now here's the deal. You don't have to be an expert at scripting. You now have AI that can script a lot of stuff for you. Script it with AI, check it against it with another AI, make sure it works, test it, and then share it out. You're all of a sudden an automation expert. Number 11, track weird patterns that show up. In IT, a lot of times there are these weird patterns that you see time and time again. If you notice that some process is broken and it's popping tickets that it shouldn't be popping or some weird symptoms are happening because of something, document it and communicate it. Pattern recognition is underrated in this industry and this goes back to understanding the bigger picture of things, thinking like a ticket owner. This is going to level you up. Number 12, absolutely crucial. Teach others as opposed to hoarding knowledge. Help your fellow tier ones level up. Be that guy who offers shadowing opportunities to the brand new people. When I was a tier one, I offered to do that because I wanted to teach those new rounds of tier ones. When I got to my tier two, my sysadmin interview, I told them I taught multiple rounds of T1s. I didn't do it just to help myself. It also helped me understand a lot of these issues that I was getting on a more profound level. And I'm always honest. I don't understand everything. I don't know everything. Even at a T2, sometimes people will reach out to me and I will say, I have no idea. Let's figure it out together. Being that dude who's willing to offer up knowledge and willing to be vulnerable with other people is invaluable and people will respect you so much more for it. So take every opportunity to teach. People are really going to appreciate it and it's going to level you up. And then number 13, something that's super important is stay calm when everything is on fire. You're going to have times where a printer's down for everybody or the VPN's not working. Users are freaking out. They can't do their things that they usually can do. Business is losing thousands and thousands of dollars a minute. You got to understand if you can just stay chill and troubleshoot with a purpose, you are a future T3. The more you work in IT, the more you realize like no matter how big the issue is, there's always an answer and oftentimes it's an easy answer. You just have to be methodical about your troubleshooting. Freaking out with all of the end users or whatever manager you have yelling at you doesn't actually help you solve the problem. It just stresses you out and actually makes you solve the problem slower. So ultimately, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to do everything. You just have to do as many of these things as you possibly can. If you do that consistently, eventually the title is going to catch up with you and you're going to get promoted. Of course, this isn't the whole puzzle. You got to get certs too. You got to have that discipline. I have multiple videos on certs. Check those out as well. I think they're useful. Let me know which one of these concepts you're going to focus on this week or which one has worked already for you. Appreciate you guys. Be safe, be smart, make some good decisions and do something different to level yourself up this week. Have a great day.